It is always a high-profile occasion when Chelsea and Arsenal collide. And the venue for this game is Stamford Bridge here in West London. Derek Ray alongside Stuart Robson for this London derby. Stuart, what do you expect to see today? Well, Derek, you're absolutely right. Chelsea versus Arsenal has become a big game in recent times, and this shouldn't be any different. I'm certainly looking forward to this one. They're two excellent teams. a team full of stars and you never quite know who's going to pop up and shine perhaps Stuart it'll be Raheem Sterling today well he's the most creative player on the field he can run with the ball he can get himself out of tight situations he can see a pass he's very creative with his play I think he's going to be the outstanding player today And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa is the goalkeeper. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. Raheem Sterling plays with Mason Mount on the flanks. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. And space here on the flank. Havertz. He takes aim. Well, decent save there. Playing it in. And a struggle to get it away properly. Koulibaly. Now with Mount. Now Zinchenko being pressed and pressed high. Martinelli. It's with Erdogan. Well, far from the ideal pass. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Out of play it goes, and it will be a throw in. Kai Havertz and Kai Havertz well the supporters think it's on it's still alive and in at the second time of asking just what was required Let's take another look at this, and from the attacking point of view, everything's right. A shot across the goalkeeper, players coming in for the rebound, and there's not much the goalkeeper could do about that. He made a good effort on the first one, couldn't react to the second. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Granit Xhaka. It's with Erdogan. Marcinelli. Can he finish? And a body in the way. Could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. It's a short one. Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. And he takes on the shot. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the danger is still there. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. Chance to equalise here. In it goes. Coley converted. 
Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Very quick thinking there. Havertz. And Kai Havertz. Havertz! And how about that for a save? And he's fired over the corner. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Jorginho already closing him down here not to be advised giving the ball away in that position Marcinelli They're racing away here Gabriel Jesus Xhaka a smart stop here and the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. So the beginning of the second half here at Stamford Bridge. And tidily played. Firing it towards goal. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. Sterling. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Havertz. Havertz! And a goal! To re-establish their advantage! Just look at the celebrations! Well, let's take another look and wow how cleanly does he hit that the keeper was never going to save it what a good goal that is so the game has restarted and Chelsea are the team with the lead Arsenal's free kick here Nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Well, it's been quite clear that Chelsea have been second best in terms of possession, but when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. They take it short. Another chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. It's a short one. Well, tremendous block. And the referee... has pointed to the spot he's given the penalty and now let's see if they can level it up to make it 2-2 the keeper going in the right direction and saving it can someone get on the end of this it hasn't come to very much breaking at pace Nicely cut out. The Chelsea move still flowing. Advantage to them. Well, he's retrospectively awarded the free kick, having let it flow initially. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. 
Effective challenge. Martinelli. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. But start defending when it mattered. Mount. Mount. Kai Havertz. Zakaria. And a body in the way. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. And they're making a change. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Able to close down the shot. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? A very effective clearance. Oh, he's given the ball away. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Mount. Very quick thinking there. Chances on. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. And time for the change now. Well, this late corner could represent the last chance to equalise. And that is that. The referee brings this match to an end and Chelsea get the three points. What did you make of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, it really is wonderful to watch Raheem Sterling when he's on top of his game. And that has certainly been the case here, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.